Hi all, welcome to another episode of Kamal Tech Vlog. And this is a live episode what we are doing. We did have a tech issue before some time. I did start the live stream before, before half an hour's time. But there was some tech issue, so we went ahead and repaired that off. So what we are going to do today is... Just give me a minute. I'll just sit in a comfortable position. Okay, what we are going to do today is... We are going to go ahead and discuss something trivial. That is, we are going to go ahead and check what is required to start a channel and what are the channel ideas which we require to do that. The first and foremost thing of starting any channel, let it be a YouTube, let it be a Facebook, let it be Instagram, whatever content you create, the main important idea which you require is very simple. You need to know what is what type of channel you want to start. Like, for example, I'm interested in tech, so I started a tech channel. And the only reason for that is I love tech. On a daily basis, I go in and out of tech without even considering any possibility. That is, I go ahead and check a daily news on tech, daily new inventions, and everything regarding tech in and out. So, I don't get out of any of the content, but I do know like we have to make content on a daily basis. So I go ahead and do that. Apart from my work timings, whenever I get times, I put out a video or anything because I'm interested in that. Like that, there are many people over there who are even watching this at the moment who go ahead or who may even watch in the replay, who go ahead and are interested in channel, uh, interested in making a channel, but they don't have any idea about what they have to do. It's simple. If you don't want to have a writer's blog, a channel creator's blog, the best thing to do is make a channel for which you have a liking. Unless until you like your channel, you love your channel, nobody will like or love your channel and look towards to even think about it. So first and foremost, you have to do is you have to love something like example, a hobby which you have, a channel idea for that which comes out of that. For example, many of the makeup channels, they like doing makeup on themselves. So they go ahead and start that. They share their tips and uh, techniques with others so that they could go ahead and involve on that. There are many successful creators just by that. And there are some people who are good in making a business workout. They go ahead and make a business channel while giving their expertise. Same thing goes for legal law. Same thing goes for many other things like pet training, like many other things, which is a hobby for you. And you love doing that. You cannot expect anyone to go ahead and have the same hobby as you. But there are people who are looking out for that type of content. So in my case, I love tech. So as you can see around me, everything is tech over here. Yeah. Only a tech nerd can go ahead and purchase so many things for tech because I just love tech. So you cannot go ahead and uh, categorize each and everything under one thing. Success is not that which comes within a single night. It takes a lot of time to even become successful on anything. So, even now I'm doing a live stream, if I don't have any of the viewers at the moment, but later on there would be people who would be watching this and learning something out of it. That's how you have to think for yourself. And uh, you think like, uh, how will be AI able to be able to ch start a channel? How will I do a live stream without knowing anything about tech or anything? To be said, I started my journey with a phone. I used to record on my phone and I used to make videos. After that, I started using a webcam. I started making videos using a webcam. As you can see, I can show you one of my webcams now. That's a webcam. You can see the other side also, there's a webcam over there. There's a webcam over here, this side. So I started my journey like that. So it's not needed that you need to get high fi tech or anything for going ahead and starting a channel. 
you just need this to start a channel and well and good if you, you don't even need a mic which i have over here you have a bluetooth more than enough to start a channel not even a bluetooth you have headsets like this go ahead and start a channel or because a uh, phone audio is not actually enough i did test it out very widely and it doesn't come into place then after that i bought purchase my first thing was a action cam which is 4k and it gives a good quality so it's simple step by step if you see my earlier videos from when i started you'll be able to see i didn't even have a software to edit many things so i used to do it in the normal phone editing software my and i didn't have a 4k camera or anything like that i started by going ahead and doing it in a normal 1080p before that even a 720p sometimes so i used to work with that and when i used to edit one video this had this was for almost 50 videos it used to take 11 hours for me to edit a video in my old 15 year old laptop 11 year 11 hours to go ahead and edit one video but i went through that so at last i got a new desktop which i have given a configuration for you which is the simplest desktop and very inexpensive one which you can purchase after some time or you can use your phone to edit which is uh, nowadays uh, you get good phones so you can edit in that also it's faster than a desktop also and about more channel ideas like uh, example like uh, you want to go ahead and make a channel you got a channel idea you're using your hobby to go ahead and make a channel and you've created one video two video 10 videos 50 videos 100 videos but you're not getting any response it's simple you also have to go ahead uh, now the new youtube strategy is not only you have to make normal videos you have to do live streaming as well as even going ahead and creating some content in shorts. So even if you see in my channel, even though I don't do an often live stream, I just go out of the sudden and start a live stream on the spot. I don't even schedule it. But it may be useful for people who are watching it later on. That's my only concern over here. And I go ahead and do that because I do it in my free time. People can watch it in their free time. That's all counts. So with a live stream, you do have to do small time content that is like a minute short or something like that and a normal long form content. That depends from five minutes to 20 minutes, whatever you're making a content, you have to go ahead and do that in a persistent manner. So yeah, nowadays I don't get that much time in a month to make many videos because of my work, daily work. As even the pandemic is over now, now I am going ahead and going in a daily basis to work. But whenever I get time to make content, I do make it in a bulk. And I do go ahead and also go live whenever I get time to do that. It may be just for 20 minutes, it may be for half an hour. I cannot sit for one hour, two hour for a normal live content also but the best thing you can do is you can go ahead and uh, create your own methodology by which you can go ahead and create your own live content like maybe you are going live on the phone also use your front camera of your phone and go live work is done anywhere and in case you need any small tripod or anything, you get Gorilla Pod nowadays for just 200 bucks. If you go to my website, kamalsharma.in, that's K A M A L S H A R M A dot in, and you go to the About Me section, under that, you would be able to see some Amazon products over there. I filled my website with some of the Amazon products, which are very cheap for 299, 399 rupees, which you can purchase. And there are many other gadgets for which I made videos which I'll be publishing soon. And you'll be able to go ahead and watch that and get something out of it. So as I told you, whenever you think this is impossible, it will be impossible unless until you go ahead and take an effort towards it. 
if you want to go ahead and make a channel, do go ahead and come ahead and make a channel. If you don't have time in the beginning, not a problem. Just publish one video. One video is more than enough to get you started with. After you make about two, three videos, you won't even have, you'll get into a rhythm. So you will get more ideas from your own content. For example, if you are a website creator and you are a freelancer, you can also go ahead and make videos on that, how you go ahead and do that. As one of my videos, I have also shown you like how to go ahead and host and uh, make a website of your own. Or what was the cheapest hosting for that? In case you need a website creating guide also, let me know because I did create my own website by watching just YouTube. So it's as simple as that. I can go ahead and create a guide for you also so that you can do the same. And I would show you one example over here, like how you can make your streams also very good. That is, I use a program called as OBS by which I can use it as a virtual cam for my YouTube. And all I do over here is, you could see this. Just give me a minute. Let me see if I'm able to get something over here. Okay, my comments are not working now. So we do have to go ahead and troubleshoot that. And let me see what is the problem. This is in the topmost portion. Okay. Let me just go ahead and fix this. I'm just fixing my comments over here. Just give me a minute. Give me a quick minute there. Okay, as you can see this, uh, just fixing the comment portion over here. Okay, that's that. So that's how, let me show you what I'm doing over here. I'll just go to my display capture over here. Let me see if my display capture is on. properties okay so this is the display capture of my device as you can see so this is the chat function which i'm using only under display capture i'm able to show you this this is the obs one I'm using the uh, virtual camera for going ahead and showing my other YouTube channel. So over here, I can select the text to make it into comment. And I can also go ahead and change the comments method also. Just give me a minute. Let me just go to classic view. Close it. Okay, so this is the classic view. And this one I'm doing by just using a app called as Twidget on your Windows. And you can also connect it live over here by showing all your comments over here. And you don't have to pay anything extra. All you are doing is see, if you're able to see here, I do have my main Panasonic camera, overhead camera, left, right, counter, every type of camera is kept over here. 
you have brb just be right back screen you have confetti screen so let me see the confetti screen is nothing but the screen over here be right back is nothing but this one so this is the left camera my right camera is switched off at the moment so i'll not be able to show you that and the even the top uh, overhead camera there is a glitch in that even if i try to connect it down now there's a glitch in the camera so i think so i do have to change the cam so let me do that whenever i want and my mirror even my video card is uh, heating up so you'd be asking what type of video card i'm using i have made a video for that i'm using an easy cap 4k which gives you a crystal clear experience like this but there are other type of uh, cards also which you can always use as i'm telling my video card is heating up this card i'll just show you You can also go ahead and use a normal card like this. This one you'd get for 500 to 700 bucks. And you can go ahead and use even that. Because it is very cheap of cheap, you'll be able to go ahead and use it. And it will capture your image properly. So now you're seeing me in a 4K capture card, which is worth 9,000 bucks. Okay. But this one is 500 bucks. So let me quickly go ahead and try fixing it. But uh, let me do it for another video because now if I go ahead and do that, you'll be losing the whole camera angle itself. But we will be able to make a video for that. You, it also gives you the same content, just the clarity of the video as you can see here will not be the same as it is supposed to be. That's the only drawback in that. But apart from that, even the video clarity over there also a big good. So for 500 rupees, you're getting this. Now, when I got it was 700 something, now you get for 500 bucks. So it's a USB to HDMI. It's a capture card. These ones are actually better. What I've got is an easy cap one. I have made a video for that. If you will be able to go back in my list, I mean, many videos. So if you wish, I can leave the link over here. But if you do want to go down and check, the uh, uh, capture card video you'll be able to see the unboxing of that and what are the features and that is actually lesser than cam link but it's uh, newer than cam link even cam link doesn't have that many features as well as this but it gives you a totally good image this one that one has a normal processing image because there's been no update on cam link from the time it was made as of in 2017 so this gives a better image so let's get back to few channel ideas over here i think so the heat is too much over here let me go ahead i do have a fan over here if you can see that if you do wonder how i get the ah, it's just a small fan what i'm going to do with that is I'm just going to fix it here so that the capture card gets cold because it is very warm in capture cards. So I just kept next to it so that it can get cold and we don't get this blackout scenes over here because that is worse than going ahead and sweating over here. Anyhow, I'm in Bangalore, so I don't sweat that much here. <laughs> but uh, think about people like who are there in summer. And thinking of saying about summer, I did make a video about uh, another China gadget over here, which I'll be publishing soon, in which you'll be able to see how to go ahead and enjoy the summer with a small invisible fan. So I've just made the video. I'll be publishing in a few weeks over there, which you'll be able to see. And uh, I, if you do have any questions in future regarding any of the channel ideas, or any of the video contents which I have made previously, because I do see many people have gone ahead and made this uh, uh, possible for me to go ahead and uh, 
help them out with a lot of questions in the video, like how to set up to uh, change the name of a webcam or anything. And they did like that video so much. They did ask the questions regarding it. And I am trying my level best to answer everything for that. So if you do have any questions, or if you do like the channel, please do go ahead and like and subscribe for the channel and do watch those videos. And if you do have any doubts or anything, please do get back. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and get back to you in some time while I quickly go ahead and attach my other cameras. And I'll just show you how we can go ahead and use about we said one, two, three, four, about four, five camps while you're doing live streaming or you're making videos and for absolutely cheap of price. So let me just quickly go ahead and fix all the technical issues over here. I just fix all the cameras and get back to you. Okay, guys, so what we have done is we have just copied the display capture which we have over here and copied on the overhead camera first. So, what we are going to do is we are going to fix the overhead camera. It's not working at the moment because there's some issue with the camera. 
let me see what is the problem it's having okay now it's working this is the overhead camera as you can see there's a glitch coming in between so this is my second camera let me see what else deactivate we're not showing okay that's the best thing to do always click on this option over here that is deactivate when not using the reason being is uh, i can adjust the camera a little bit more okay uh, so that we can use it on a different now next will be left left is my lenovo camera over here as you can see this is the lenovo camera uh, which i have that gives me a left look as you can see the right hand side is a door and that's a different light and we do have a light over here also as you can see here that's a ring light above so a right cam is over here so let me go ahead and check that also okay the right cam is having some issue which we'll be fixing later but we will just set it up and keep so the overhead cam okay second one is overhead cam so we are just going ahead and checking which cam belongs to which category so the right cam would be not the second one it should be the first one okay so it is the second one now oh, okay this is the first one as i told you so that is the cam okay so we do have various cams over here let me go ahead and take this display capture down so you can see this is the second cam over here which is there and this is the left cam as i told you there's a glitch in the second cam this is the third cam uh this is the right cam which we have fixed so that's good so if we go to left with table what happens is because over here we do have did have an option for properties to deactivate when not using so when i'm not using this gets deactivated automatically so now if I go to left with table, if you see over here, all we have to do is go to the overhead, copy this, go to left with table, remove this, and paste this option over here. And So if you can see over here, the table is over here and this is the left cam. So that's what we have gone ahead and done. So we do have various options over here. But if you see, I have what one, two, three, four, five cameras. And if I do want, I can fix even this as a camera, as an action cam for any of the shots or anything like that. And uh, apart from that, I can use even a mobile also separately for a camera. If you see the space over here, I have a different type of spacing over here. Why? Well, what I've done is I do have a small room over here. Behind me is the setting, but to give us little blur effect behind i'm sitting in between of the room and the table how it is configured is i can show you in the left cam a little bit about the table how it is configured see this is the first table this is the second table i have one uh, uh, monitor here one monitor here with the cpu that side with the green screen and now if we go ahead and see in this overhead here is the overhead one where we do have a normal 
uh, table where I go ahead and do my unboxings and various stuff. For example, I can go ahead and do unboxing over here. Now I have a laptop charger over here because I'm not using it at the moment. But mostly I do all the unboxing over here. And if you see, there's enough light because there are about two lights which are there. One is coming from the top light, which I had showed you. One is coming from the side. So let me show you. Like if you see behind my head, there is a top light over there from, mostly you'll be able to see like this. Yeah, top light behind my light. It's just a ring light which I'm using. The ring light is just for 300 rupees <laughs> on Amazon, which I had purchased. So I'm just using it as a hair light over here. And we do have a lamp over here. That's an IKEA lamp. Nothing much fancy about it. And we do have way if you see behind me this fully rgb covered we do have about rgb bricks with normal wire i did make a video you can check that out how to make yourself about a year uh, two years ago that video was how you can make that and it's still working i had bought them for 200 or 300 bucks it's still working all the rgb lights they're about one two three four five rgb and six rgb is over that side and from the left side you can see that's the six rgb light and uh, the normal strips are just for two three hundred bucks even them and i did make a video about the light also which i'm using i do have a remote for that and i can dim it as much as i want to have a warm effect on my face because this effect is better than any other effect because you have a warm effect on the face without much shadow or anything because i do have another light which is bouncing from there let me see if I can show you that. You see this camera here. One is my DSLR over here, and one is the light bouncing over there. And this is the other light over here. So I'm having a three point lighting over here. And behind me, as I told you, there's a ring light over here. And this is my over the top camera. As simple as that, it is not that clean behind. It's like a storage room, but that's the over the top camera over here. So this is the movable camera which I have over here, which I always use so that I can show you the various stuff around me. Because that's something which even you would be interested in, checking how it is set up and everything. I've done a proper cable management. I did make a video for that. If you do have time, please go ahead and check that out. Because cable management is something which is important for everyone. Because without that, we are not able to go ahead and do anything. So I did make the, I made a video regarding the cable management. Please do watch whenever you get some good time and uh, how to set up your desk and everything. And you'd be asking how I'm going ahead and changing the scenes, like example, I don't know whether it's configured now or not because it's been many days since I went alive. So let me just increase the brightness over here. It was too low. So we do have a switcher over here. So it's in a keyboard. Uh, I just show you that once. Let me go to my third cam. Okay, yeah, this is the third. This is the switcher over here. If you're able to see this. So I just used a normal keypad over here, separate keypad, by which I'm going ahead and making this. This is the first cam, as you can see. Okay, this goes to the right-hand side cam, so forget about this. This is the left-hand side cam. So this is the overhead cam. Let me see if any other camera is coming. Yeah, this is the fifth cam left with table. And I can go ahead and mute the sound and unmute the sound also with this. So even that is available. Plus cam six, cam seven. And this is the BIB screen, B right back screen. This is the Confente screen. So these are the other scenes which you can go ahead and use with this. I don't know, there are some blank spaces over here. I have no idea what they are.
So these are the various things that you can go to and do. Okay, that was a Windows capture. Okay, the blank one. So I just use a keypad as a switcher, and I'm it's just a 2.0 keypad which you get for 200 rupees. You do get it in a Bluetooth format or wired also. I preferred wired, but if you do find it in a Bluetooth format, you would be able to go ahead and do with that also. And that's one of the important tools which you can use. Now, let's get back to the channel ideas which we were talking about apart from the tech tips because this video is just for the channel ideas and the tech tips. So we have covered most of the tech tips why we can go ahead and start your own uh, your stream or you can go ahead and make videos and everything because even it took me about two or three years for me to go ahead and make my videos come to life with various tools and softwares so it would take some time for you to go to go ahead and do that but do take your time and do that in a proper manner and let me just go ahead and remove some of the unnecessary options over here. So, okay, this is the widget option. This is the countdown timer, which I go ahead and use. So there are many options which you can do by using OBS. You're not going ahead and using any special program. It's just OBS. You can also show your comments by this. For example, hi all. Okay, good evening. And this looks good. This comment looks very good over here. So you are not going ahead and paying for the service or anything. It's free of cost, which you can always go ahead and use. And it's called a widget. If I can show you the display, just give me a display. This is the widget app. I'll just try to show you one more thing. Let me drag it here. This is the app. You're just signing into your video channel and you're going ahead and doing it. How you're doing it is you can select which template you require. Close this, and here it will give you information how to do an OBS setup. It gives a step by step guide. You don't have to be a tech savvy to go ahead and do this. You just have to know the normal basic. And app, you say how to connect the stream, and everything also is mentioned over here. So, if there is any comment or anything, you will be able to go ahead and display by this. So, it's as easy as that. So that's one of the best things that you can do while going ahead and doing it. Showing your comment means you have a live interaction also with your audience. Because most of the time you would be scheduling a live video and you're not like me. You'll be scheduling it a long time back and you'll be going ahead and doing it. What I'm doing is I'm just creating the content on the go. Because even I have a limited number of time and even people over there, people are celebrating Easter at the moment, and I'm just streaming on an Easter Sunday where people will not be even be able to see TV or YouTube or anything like that. But people who go ahead and watch later will be having an idea of it. So if you're going to create a channel, if you need help with channel ideas, if you need help with thumbnails, channel ideas, as I told you, it's all up to you. Because it's your hobby, you'll be knowing best about your hobby. If you ask about tech, I know about tech very well. If you ask me about anything else, like a makeup or something like that, I don't know jack shit about it. So, but some people will be able to go ahead and uh, know each and everything about their field. Like, let it be a, even Excel, Microsoft Excel. Let it be um, music. Let it be entertainment. Let it be... Uh, anime let it be mere makeup so people will be knowing you people will be knowing the best on their field and you can go ahead and create videos on that so that you can help others also and even you feel good while making that so it's as simple as that as i told you once i kept the fan there it stopped blinking 
blacking out because as i told you just my, my uh, capture card was getting heated up so as i told you are uh, the people who go ahead and make content know the best about their content and they can always do that and you will never get a creator's block if you go ahead and make a video or a channel on which you have the liking for if you are a good cook make a cookery channel make your recipes go online it's as simple as that if you're good at something go ahead and make a channel on that so that you don't get bored of that because you love doing it and even other people will be able to ask you questions regarding the same so it's as simple as that but if you do need any help regarding how to make a thumbnail how to go ahead and edit i did make few videos regarding that but if you want in depth also you can always contact me you can leave a comment or you can visit my website and leave a comment there also i will be able to go ahead and send you instructions on how to go ahead and do that because in a creators economy and now as the economy is going on a creator can only help other creators nobody else is going to help because there are many people like who go ahead and uh, say that they're going to help out with the software and everything but they do demand money and that's something which i am against if you need help i would go ahead and answer your questions even in my comments if you go ahead and post it in any of my comments if you see my previous videos each and every time somebody has commented i have responded to that comment because a creator is going ahead and uh, getting something out of my content and that makes me happy the same way when you create content if something makes you happy go ahead and do that do not even think otherwise it is a source of income only if you think if it's a source of income so unless and until it becomes a source of income by brands contacting you regarding any video or anything unless until that happens or if you have your own merchandise that's totally different you're going ahead and making a source of income by that but helping each other out is the best way you can create a channel if you do need my help please go ahead and write your questions in the comments or you do can leave your questions on my website that would be stay in the description mostly that's www.kamalsharma.in or else you can subscribe to this channel and leave a comment so that i can go ahead and assist you with any of your doubts in creating a channel making a thumbnail getting the cheap devices to get started up with because i have been through the process i'll be able to go ahead and assist you with that until next time this is kamal and you're watching a live stream of a very long time thank you for that and people who are watching in recap after some time thank you for that also and until next live stream this is kamal and you're watching kamal tech vlog live and you do have a wonderful day ahead